Hi everyone, this is Adam Clay from Computer Science Teachers and I wanted to make this video to show you everything that you get when you purchase the Computer Science Teachers curriculum. This curriculum comes with everything you need from student videos to teacher videos, PowerPoints, programming projects, exercises, quizzes and tests to give you everything you need to teach your AP Computer Science A class while giving you your time back. Let's go ahead and look at what you get once you purchase a subscription to the Computer Science Teachers Curriculum. Everything you see here can be found in the Basic, Premium, and Premium Plus curriculums. With Premium and Premium Plus coming with additional resources, training, and mentoring, which I will cover a little later. This curriculum is designed to start the students off with an introduction to Jeru. Jeru is a text-based coding environment designed to help novices master the basic mechanics object-oriented programming. Covering these lessons is a fun way to get students started while laying a foundation for what you will cover with your students throughout the rest of the year. The curriculum covers every topic that students will need to cover as part of the updated AP Computer Science A course that was introduced in 2019. It's also going to give them exam prep material that you can use to have your students ready and prepared take the AP exam at the end of the school year. Every lesson has the same main components. The first thing you'll see is a teacher video. A teacher video is a 5 to 10 minute video designed specifically for you. The day before your lesson you can watch this video which will give you tips and suggestions on how to introduce the lesson and the project to your students. The second thing you'll find in the lesson is a student video. A student video is a video of me teaching the lesson. There are three ways that you can use a student video in your class. The first is if you're absent. If you're absent, all you have to do now is assign the student video to your students and let me teach the class that day. The second way you can use it is if your students are absent. We've all had the student that's come in after being sick or away at a sporting event and said, how, what did I miss and how can I catch up? Now all you have to do is assign the student video and they'll be caught up with the rest of your class. The third way that you can use it is to reinforce what you've already taught your class. My students love having access to the student video after we've already taught it in class so that they can go back and reinforce things things that they have already learned or that they just need a, a little bit extra help on. If you're in an online classroom setting, this is a perfect thing to use. You can just assign the student video and have your students watch the video at home. Anytime you need me to carry the teaching load, I'm there for you. The next thing you'll find in the lesson is the PowerPoint presentation. The PowerPoint presentation is designed specifically to allow you to teach the lesson to your students. It is an interactive PowerPoint. What I mean by that is that as you teach the lesson, the students will be following along, entering code into their IDE. By the time you finish the lesson, they will have actually run and tested and seen their code working with what you've taught them that day so that they are ready to go off and do the project that you will introduce to them. Another thing you'll find in the lessons are a set of exercises for your students to complete. Each lesson has a set of 10 questions for your students to go through that reinforces what they just learned. There's also a project included in each lesson that reinforces the concept they've learned. Most of these coding projects are game-based. For example, over the period of the year, your students will be making Uno, they'll be making a Minesweeper game, a Rock, Paper, Scissors game, a Number Guessing game, as well as many other games including games for our students to design actually motivate our students and have them do better on their coding assignments. You'll also find in these lessons detailed answer guides for the exercises and for the projects. In each lesson you will also find a quiz that you can give your students the following day that kind of holds their feet to the fire. That way they don't forget what they learned the day before and it's short, a five to ten minute quiz with about four questions for them to complete. This also has a detailed answering guide in the lesson. Besides all of this, each lesson also comes with a set of teaching tips that give you strategies for engaging your students in each lesson, as well as a lesson plan that will help you space 
and time your lesson out over the appropriate number of days. All of this stuff is included in the computer science teacher's basic curriculum. But we also have the computer science teacher's premium curriculum. In the premium curriculum, you get all of this, plus you get monthly member calls where you get to call in with other teachers and ask questions and help get your questions answered, as well as live trainings and teacher forums. All of this is about you and about supporting you and being the best teacher that you can be. And the premium curriculum's goal is to give you all the support that you need to be the best teacher that you can for your students. Go ahead and check it out. If you need to go visit our webpage, it is www.computersciencedeachers.com. And I look forward to seeing you in, as part of the Computer Science Teachers 